say if somebody catches your pants, give the pants and run as fast as possible. But when I was in Japan, the Japanese master told me that is a wrong sentence created in India. If somebody catches your pants, remove your underwear also, give to them and run as fast as possible. Because just for a small thing, don't tend to fight. Because your talent is immeasurable, priceless. Why the small thing? Like the Japanese Zen master, when the robber was running after robbing his belongings, Master came out from the bath and saw the robber running, clapped and said, stop. And the robber turned around and the master had his last belonging, one towel, wrapped around his waist. He removed it up and showed to the robber and said, please take this towel. Who knows, you might need this tomorrow. <laughs> While you're climbing the mountain, don't turn back to look how far you've climbed. Just look ahead how far more you have to climb. They say all oh, about mountains, love can move mountains. Tenzing Norgay, born in 29th May 1914 in Kumbu, in Nepal, born, died on 9th May 1986 in Darjeeling in India, was a Nepal Indian Sherpa mountaineer. He was one of the first two people known to reach the summit of Mount Everest, which he accomplished with Edmund Hillary on 29th May 1953. Time named Norge one of the hundred most influential people of the 20th century. Tenzing Norge said, if it is a shame to be the second man on Mount Everest, then I will have to live with this shame. Very closely related to what I said about Zen masters who were staying on the foot of the mountain with hardly any belongings. When he came back from his bath, he found one robber running out from his hut. He clapped, and the robber turned back to look. It seems master removed his last towel and said, who knows whether tomorrow you might need this also. Please take this one. Robert looked at the naked body of the Zen master. It was shocked. He became enlightened. If it is a shame to be the second man, Zen master must have thought, if it is a shame to be without clothes, then let it be that be my shame, my name. If it is a shame to be the second man on Mount Everest, then I will have to live with this shame. That's what all mothers around the world have decided. If it is a shame to be the second fiddle to the man, the husband, let it be, and the whole world sang praises of mother, my mother, my mother. No man can live without that one feeling of mother. No man can live without that feeling of my sister, my wife, and though he shouts. Hence, Tenzing Norge said, I am the mother, I am the goddess. If it is a shame to be the second man on Mount Everest, is it a shame to pluck the naked flowers and offer it to the naked God, to the naked sun, to the naked moon, to the naked wind? What is nakedness? What is shame? It is all borrowed and forced into you. Mount Everest is not a small thing. It is one of the toughest things to climb, to reach to the top. And in there also you are telling first and second. Reaching itself is ananda, permanenta, happiness, bliss, absolute. And in that you count the mathematics of one and two. The day you calculate 
the one and two in love relationship you have gone you are divided you are cut the love with the knife pierced the love with the knife to divide it into one and two the master was lying down zen master and the students came to massage his legs one on the left hand side one on the right hand side. and while massaging the right leg when it touched the left leg and the left leg students told the right leg students i am warning you please do not touch my leg with your leg and the right hand side students said if i touch again what will you do and the left leg students said i am warning you repeat don't try to touch if you ever touch and the right hand said students are touch what you do is i'll break your leg and master got up and said who is it <laughs> you are piercing the love with such shit the day you drop your suspicion the day you carry the suspicion you are shameless the day you drop the suspicion your name is shame cause the world and you will be a sanyasi you will be a maharishi you will be a saint to understand the shame of this materialistic world if it is a shame to be the second man on mount everest then i will have to live to say a rose is a rose it's a rose is a rose it's a rose is a rose is a rose is a rose lilies 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 if the rose tries to become a lily then the trouble yes that is what people think about the shame there is no shame whatever if you are a rose you be the rose so what enjoy that one when you refuse to enjoy when you refuse to accept that the reality that rakum samuji is a beggar then in the art of begging without begging Rakum Swamiji, Zen in the art of asking without asking, shameless. But if you believe it is shameless, you cannot shame. With the people who are thinking, oh, shame, are the people who are unable to share, unable to understand the beauty of their nakedness, the beauty of their growth. They have not dig deep inside because. their digging comes only from the graveyard master called the hospital doc hence it stings tensing norge said if it is a shame to be the second man on mount everest then i will have to live with this shame there is no shame in your ladies to be on because it is i remember my uncle after a very long time got a daughter and whenever she passes urine and everybody say hey hey like that he takes on the hey don't say hey it is amrit it's amrit yes if you have love no dirt is shameful it is amrit you would be ashamed to be second man in the mount everest and if your lady spit on you it is amrit because it is connecting the link of your purity of your spit which the whole body is created as a medicine so don't get very just wipe up the spit and hug them yes and together you can make the family a strong joint family to stand tall like the family tree otherwise the lone people sharks are after you when you are in small trouble with a little bit of money 
unknown strangers you go to take money for one lakh they charge you two lakhs of interest and then they threaten you live in fear but if there was a family tree where is the loan there won't be any loan because we have everything we child will live in fear go back to your family strengthen your family strengthen your joint family that was my fight to see the family tree as long as you don't have the family tree you are a beggar you live a shameless beggar come out of the beggary and your shameless character go back to your family build up the relationship of your family and then you can see no russia no nato will attack ukraine ukraine was attacked on by russia and used by nato because they didn't have a joint family in the family tree this was an example god wanted to tell the whole world be conscious